Hello everyone. Today we're going to build this infinite scroll effect using Next.js and Tailwind CSS. Let's get started. I am already in my next tab. Let me first run the local server. It's working fine. Now go back. First thing first, go to page.js. Let's screen all these default things. Also go to global search CSS. Clean all these default stylings. Instead, give margin of zero, padding of zero, box sizing of border box, and give it a text color of white. Also. Inside the body, give a background color of black. Now, next thing what we are going to do is we are going to create a component. Inside the root folder, create a folder called component. Inside it. Shall create a file called infinite scroll dot js. Now we will import this component inside the page dot js file. It's working fine. Now go inside this component. Now we will start working from here. We will start with HTML and CSS. Now inside this div, we are going to have a h1, and we are going to have a div. So inside this div, we are going to have another div. And inside this nested div, give a image tag. So inside this h1, we shall give some text. Now we'll do the styling. For the H1, give a class name of fixed flex justify center width of hundred percent height of hundred percent and top of ten percent. Now move to this div. Give a styling of width of minimum. And for this div, it is going to have a custom CSS class. Give it a class name of wrap. And this image is going to have a class name of height of full, BG cover. Background of fifty percent, fifty percent, and rounded off two rem. And for this image, I'm giving a source.
I already have my images in the public folder inside this INF folder. Now take this image and copy paste it four times below it. Now we have these five images. Let me change the images. Now we'll style this wrap. So go to global search CSS dot wrap of give it a height of 65 view height margin top of 17.5 view height display of grid grid auto columns of 23.5 view width grid auto flow of column width of minimum content and give it a gap of two view width. now we shall check yeah we got the images now we should perform the infinite scroll effect So now we are done with HTML and CSS. Now we will move to Java's report. Before it, we have to install a dependency. So open up new terminal. npm install. We have to install Linux. So install studio. Right slash Linux. Yeah, it has installed. Import Linux from Studio Fit Linux. Also, we will be needing use effect. So import use effect from React. Remember, whenever we are using use effect, we have to mention use client. Now inside this function, first define a use effect. So inside this use effect, let us first define Linux. So const Linux equals new Linux of give smooth as true and give infinite to true orientation as horizontal and gesture orientation to both after this we shall create a function create a function RAF of takes a parameter of time so inside it mention Linux dot RAF of time Below it, give it request animation frame of RAF. Also, after this function, again mention request animation frame 
and passing the parameter of the function itself. So after this, create another function called repeat items. It's going to get a parameter of parent element. and total we we'll initialize total to 0 inside it mention const items equals the spread operator of parent element dot children Open up a for loop. Let i equal zero, i less than or equal to total minus one and plus plus i. Inside the for loop, mention let clone equals items of i dot clone node of true and append parent element parent element dot append of clone now we shall call the function so repeat items of document dot query selector of wrap comma now how many times I'm going to clone this thing so in this case I'm giving it four times now we shall check yeah as you can see we got this infinite scroll effect So that's it for the video, so thank you for watching and see you in the next one.